Hi, welcome to the career aggregation uh, demo. So I'll just explain about the setup details over here. This is uh, here we are using a Broadcom uh, FTD platform, and here we are running the Polaris EPC. And the the phone what we use is the Nexus uh, 5X. And we are using 20 plus uh, 20 megahertz. One is in band three and in band seven. And we have uh, the L2, the CL port console for the Broadcom. One is the L2 console over here and the L3 console over here. We can see. Right now the U is attached, and we are pumping data. We are pumping UM uh, UDP traffic about uh, 293 Mbps. You can see we are receiving 290 Mbps on the phone. Also, this is uh, this one uh, statistic tool where we can see all the statistics uh, which is generated from e B. We can uh, see all the everything in graph format. Yeah, I will just show the throughput from both the primary and the secondary cell. The red line indicates the cell 1 which is the primary cell and the blue line is the cell 2 which is the secondary cell. You can see both are doing 150 megabits per second. So the total throughput is 300 uh, megabits per second and this is the over the air throughput. And the phone iperf we can see 290 294 mps which is the application throughput also we can also see in the number of cells which are activated currently we can see one serving cell which is activated currently the activation is based on the availability of more data. If we stop the data, the UV, uh, the serving secondary serving cell will get deactivated. I will stop the data and I will show. I am stopping the data. And you can see the throughput is going down to. 0 mbps now i will run small amount of data now i'm pumping 10 mbps of data this uh, so here you can see all the, the data is going on only on the primary cell so, so the secondary cell is not at activated and no data is going on secondary cell so as and when the data becomes so high wherein the primary cell is not sufficient to serve, we will activate the secondary cell. So I will increase the data. Increase to 100 Mbps. With 100 Mbps, also as it is 20 megahertz, only one cell is sufficient. Now I am pumping 160 Mbps as with one cell 20 megahertz we can achieve 140 Mbps so in this uh, as we are pumping 20 Mbps extra we serve the secondary cell still got added and the 20 Mbps is getting served through the secondary cell. So I will increase the data to 300 Mbps. Again, you can see both are running with 300, 300 Mbps. That's it. That's it for the demo. Thank you.